Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good. Good. Okay. Oh, look at the wing mirror. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice move. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> Yeah, rock and roll. Rock and roll. Good morning, world. Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Almaty in Kazakhstan, and today, Andre, who is a local, who is in front of us, is taking us on a tour of the city. So we met Andre a few days ago when we took Bumblebee to get a service and to get our rear shock replaced. By the way, Bumblebee is feeling absolutely amazing right now. Like a new bike, really. Like a absolutely new bike. So that repair was done at a um, motorcycle club garage. And the motorcycle club is called the Nomads Almaty Motorcycle Club. Andre is a member, so he came down just to come and see us, just to chat to us, make sure that everything was going okay with the repair. And then he said to us, hey guys, if you want, on Monday, I can give you a little tour of the city. So we have no idea where he's going to be taking us today. But we're just going to follow him. I'm just going to see what we see. Yeah. Now we go to Medeo. It's up in the mountains, the skating ring. It's a sign of Almaty, Kazakhstan. It's good. Okay. Cool. Great, let's do it. I can't wait to see what Almaty has to offer. We don't know exactly how long we're going to ride in the city today, but it's already 11 o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. Whoa, we're coming right into the city now. Look at all of this glass around. Looks like a pretty modern city here, actually. This part of the city looks really new. And you can see even on the road here, they haven't even painted the different lines here. To be honest, it is a little bit chaos. I mean, yeah. we don't know if there's supposed to be three lanes, four lanes, five lanes. Everybody's sort of just drifting around. Oh, look, Almaty Theater. Hmm. Yeah, it looks really cool actually. Oh look, they've got the Bellagio here. They've got a Bellagio. Oh. Just like in Vegas. <laughs> On the south side of the city, which is in front of us now, is just a giant wall of snowy mountains. It is such a cool backdrop to a city. But hopefully we'll get a bit closer and we can show you guys. The nice nature. Yeah. Oh yes, here we go. We have mountains. Yeah. <laughs> and it's nice, the roads are becoming a little bit more open, more forested, more green. Yeah, it's amazing. Such a big city with like two million plus people living there. But once you are out, you are kind of in the nature, you know, you're in the mountains. It's amazing. And look, they have a cable car system just here. Going all the way up into the mountains over there. I don't know amazing. where that goes. Amazing. It's like a giant ice skating rink here. Wow. All right. It's the one of the biggest skating rink in the former USSR. Now it's the biggest skating rink in Kazakhstan. It still holds the world records for the... Okay. Yeah, okay. So this behind us is the Medeo skating rink. And when it was built, it was the largest skating rink in the former USSR. And it is the largest ice skating rink in Kazakhstan. It was built in 1972 and during the 1980 Olympics hosted by the USSR all the ice skating was done here even though it's like 4,000 kilometers away. And this ice skating rink has really unique conditions that allowed it to set a lot of world records. Due to the altitude and the humidity, it means that it has like super super slick ice. So it actually has the Guinness World Record for the most amount of world records set in one ice skating yes, rink. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. 
So what do they call this? Pastilla. Pastilla. It's a uh, fruit jam, dried. Wow. It's very good. Very hard. <laughs> well, you can like rip it like this. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dried jam. Mm -hmm. That's then been sort of rolled out and then rolled up into a stick. With your tongue, you can do it like this. Maybe it's last year. I'm not. Oh, 100%. <laughs> so this is the start of the climb, hey? Yes, 842 stairs. 842 steps. I count more always. <laughs> <laughs> so this behind us that we're about to climb is a big dam that was made in the 60s. Andre tells us that they made it by basically blowing up that mountain and blowing up that mountain and then basically all the rock falls into the middle and that's how they created the dam but they actually created this dam to stop mud flows coming down into the city because apparently just before they built the dam there was some really super devastating mud flows coming all the way down this valley and basically destroying a whole portion of the city they built the dam not to store water not to conserve water but as a big protection for the city basically it says just check up on your health if you're feeling all right then we start the the, the heart as your heart beats <laughs> <laughs> comfortable shoes you got <laughs> we go right they go left okay, okay. but nobody knows okay. <laughs> <laughs> no children without olders luckily i'm here to take yeah. care of you Thank no you. no jumping just because <gasps> safety okay safety. okay okay sweetheart don't you even think about jumping no alcohol <laughs> No, uh, sliding on the uh, rails. <laughs> oh. I don't know, maybe it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Everything good? Perfect. Everything good, let's, let's go. do it. We didn't get a lot of exercise over the last like year and a half, so this is good for us. This is good. Okay, now we're hiding under a tree because it started to hail. We're just gonna hang about here and see if it gets a bit better. 11 minutes later. So do you count? 2,000 probably. <laughs> 2,600, 700, 800. We can make it to the top. We can make it to the top. That's it. Yoo! You did it. Is this the top already? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Where's the gondola going? Uh, to the ski resort, it's over that mountain. One hundred. One hundred? Okay. For, for one. one. For just, one? just make one, bite it into half. Just okay. try it, yeah, if is you it, like it. Is, I don't, is it not nice? No, it's, I like it. Okay, you pick one. You okay. stupid. Okay, uh, shall we? Uh, uh, okay, so what is this? Kurt. 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 It's a uh, dried uh, milk with salt. Cow's milk or? Cow's milk. Cow's milk. Dried cow's milk with salt. Salty. Usually it's uh, uh, milk gets bad, but not bad. Uh, okay, it's like it could, sour, sour yeah. milk. Sour, yeah, okay. Sour milk, dried. Dried, oh, sour milk. dried sour milk with salt. Yeah. With salt. Yeah. Okay, you can try first. No, you try first, my love. Okay. <laughs> mm. This mm. one is good. Mm. This one is good because mm. made for for uh, tourists, not so salty, not so sour. You say but not not so salty, not what? so sour, and she's like it's really salty and really sour. Yeah, mm. really salty. It's almost like Parmesan cheese. Yeah, yeah, it is. It mm. tastes good. You like it? Mm -hmm. uh, it yeah. has no uh, the expiry date. No expiry. No expiry. Uh -huh. Wow. Pasiba, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> there we go. Finish with walking. <laughs> it's time to let these beauties do all the hard work from now on. Do you have a name for your motorcycle? Afrikanachka. Afrikanachka. <laughs> what does that mean? African yeah. lady. Okay. Oh. And this is 1100 Africa Twin. Yes. Year is. 2021. 21. Automatic transmission. Oh, I don't even have clutch. This is the handbrake. What? This so, is uh, the brake. Yeah. I can also change like this yeah. if I want to. Uh -huh. This is like very comfortable. I like it. I mean, before I I thought it, it was not a real motorcycle, but now yeah, I, it can do wheelie no problem. Yeah, <laughs> it can do wheelie anyway. Yeah. It's an automatic transmission. Still do a wheelie. 
There we go. All right, that's enough physical exercise for one day, hey? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Climbed to the top of the dam and down again. And now I'm really hungry. So Andre said he's going to lead us to a place and I'm excited. Oh, it's nice letting the bike take us around, isn't it? <laughs> yes, but I really miss actually doing some exercise. Now yeah. my whole body is like, my legs are shaking, my no. whole body's like... Totally. I'm exhausted, man. Yeah, a good sit down and uh, something to eat will be really good. So we managed to find ourselves an absolutely amazing lunch. It's basically like like a Kazakhstani subway here. We've got ourselves a falafel six inch sub with cheese and tomato. And then on the other side, we've got ourselves a hash brown sub with cheese. There it is. And you've got a UFO burger. <laughs> and they actually make it look like a UFO. Yeah, it is a little UFO. That's amazing. All right, I am absolutely stuffed now. Oh, wow, okay, we're going through this little thing. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot, yeah. but it was nice. But then Andre said, guys, we probably got to make a move because he said that rush hour is going to be starting in the next half an hour. And he says a half an hour trip is going to turn into a two and a half hour trip if we don't go now. The uh, rush hour of Almaty is absolutely no joke. In fact, that's why we did this trip in the middle of the day, because it's pretty much the only time that you can get around the city. So yeah, anyway, we're going to be heading back to our accommodation now. Andre is going to be escorting us back with his supreme Almaty motorcycle skills. He says that motorcyclists in Almaty, they're, they're a special breed of people, you know? They've learned an Almaty way of driving, which is uh, basically all the cars don't care about you. They'll come up right next to you. And sometimes you have to kick their wing mirror. <laughs> that's what he says. He says that's the Almaty way. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a building so much made of glass than this one, seriously. Yeah, my God, that it's absolutely crazy especially with the sun wasn't it in england that one glass building made a car burning yeah and here is like massively hot and sunny here in almaty so yeah. i don't want to know how many fires that building starts <laughs> <laughs> but anyway it's been a super super awesome day getting a view out of the city in the mountains yeah wow the mountains here are so pretty and just like learning a little bit about almaty this area here it's really cool really cool if you guys want to hear some info about this city then go to the previous episode when we arrived in Almaty <laughs> yeah. and there I said some really cool stuff. Look there's a tree on the balcony! <laughs> what the hell? Yeah I don't know it's like a really cool style. Yeah but I mean that tree is gonna grow to like 15 meters high. But yeah, we've definitely found that here in Almaty you have to be pretty careful about the cars because honestly they will drive like you are invisible. Yeah. Like they are not very forgiving and not very patient. You kind of have to be extra careful, keeping your wits about you, looking around at all times, just being extra careful. And yeah, the traffic jams are already starting. Wow, yeah. look at this. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. So it's probably a good idea that we're heading back already. Yeah. Whoa, look at this Range Rover. Wow. Whoa, that looks like a crazy car. Do not scratch it, do not scratch it, do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lordy lord. Okay. Oh, I like it. <laughs> See you. Hey, the important thing is that we didn't hit any cars in Almaty. Did you see this one car was like a Range Rover or something? Like really crazy expensive car. Electric Range Rover. Electric Range Rover. I was like the whole time like, oh, don't, don't scratch this car. Oh my God. <sighs> awesome. See you later. So that's it from our day out here in Almaty. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. We will see you next time.